So on my last Apple TV broadcast, uh, my friend had come on to the broadcast with me. So uh, he doesn't really speak English, so I was kind of speaking to him in Korean um, and uh, translating back and forth and all that. Um, a little bit, the best of my ability. So a lot of people are asking, oh, could you tell us how you learned Korean, blah, blah, blah. Um, and about a year and a half or two years, I was able to grasp, I would say enough of the Korean language to be able to, you know, talk to friends. I will say that I'm not very good at it. My pronunciation is not very good either. Um, I'm better at just like texting and all that. I will say that I think the best way to learn a new language is with immersion, which is basically sticking yourself into a place where they only speak that language. And for me, that was coming to Korea. But the thing is, I work at an American army base, so I don't practice as much as I wish I could. So I'm not one of those people that took those classes where they're only speaking Korean. Like, I don't know how I would survive in that class. But um, a lot of my coworkers are Korean, that's, they speak both languages, and they'll talk to me in Korean. So um, it helps kind of, you know, train my ear and my talking and listening and all that. But in terms of studying on my own, um, my favorite, one of my favorite, or like my, the only resource I kind of went to was TalkToMeInKorean.com. Here is the URL. I have to say their teaching method is like one of the best. The way they teach Korean just makes sense. Now the thing is you probably need to learn how to read Hangul first, which is like Korean writing. So if you can learn Hangul, then learning Korean is going to be so much easier for you because I just feel like learning it like Korean with the Korean written in like Roman letters is just not the business and it just makes everything harder because converting Korean to like Roman letters is just like really confusing sometimes. I have some of their books, actually I have quite a few of the books. Now their lessons are free on their website but I do have some of their books just because I like having the physical um, copy. Uh, for some reason in Korea they only sell um, like in bookstores, they only sell level 3 and 4. Well, at least that's all I could find for like the longest time. Like every bookstore I went to only had 3 and 4. Um, I think you need to order the other, phys if you want a physical copy of the other lessons, you'd have to um, buy it from their online store, which aren't that expensive to be honest. I think each of these is about 10 to $12. Um, but the lessons in here are really well written and they just get their shit done. Um, they also came out with some Korean verb guides. Um, this came, these came together. There's volume one and two. And definitely one of the best ways to learn Korean is to learn um, verbs. Um, just the language of Korean. There's a lot of stress on verbs. And just learning verbs will definitely, you know, help improve your Korean, help you understand if you're watching like a drama or something. But the way they just set it up, it makes it super interesting to read. They have like pictures. Actually, no, they don't have pictures in this one, but just the way they explain it um, makes it really easy to understand. So I'm really glad that I had found that website. Um, I have this book. I think it's also Talk To Me In Korean. Yeah, this is by Talk To Me In Korean and Solistic. It's the survival of Korean for travels and expats. And probably one of the, if you're traveling to Korea, this would be probably a good place to start. There's a ton of information on uh, culture, some ways to order food. If you're coming to Korea, I think one of the first things you need to learn is how to order food. Learn how to order food, ask for where the bathroom is, and ask how much something is. Because if you know those three, then you should be good. Um, and also find a Korean friend or something. So except for the lesson books, I bought these other ones from um, the Eat Your Kimchi Cafe because you know, talk to me in Korean, eat your kimchi, they collab and they sell their shit in that cafe, which is actually a really nice cafe. If you can come to Korea, go to Hongdae and go to the cafe. It's a really good cafe. But yeah, I bought these books from there when I had the chance when I stopped by. So I also picked up the Everyday Korean Idiomatic Expressions book, which I thought would just be an interesting find because a lot of things in Korean are kind of idiomatic expressions. And those idiomatic expressions are one of the things that like debtors me from wanting to learn Korean more because I feel like I'm at a decent place and like I'm too lazy to continue which is probably a bad thing but so besides books I recommend getting a Korean pen pal honestly the only way I really got better at Korean was to only speak in Korean to like um actual Koreans when I lived in Korea you know through Kakao talk or something and 
I will admit, I, I definitely used Google Translate before. That was like the main thing I used. And like thinking back to it now, it's like really embarrassing thinking about some of the things I could have said. Uh, but using Google Translate kind of can help you find new words and maybe sometimes um, with sentence structure. You don't like rely on it, but sometimes if you need it for like quick translations, then you can definitely use a translator. I like the Naver translator. That's a really good one. It's definitely not as like word for word translation like Google. So the Naver translator is a really good one. But yeah, uh, watch Korean dramas. Uh, watch Korean TV especially. Uh, there's a lot of like casual talking there. Read Korean webtoons on Naver or Daum. Find a Korean pen pal to talk to, because uh, immersion is definitely the best one of the best ways to. Um, learn a new language. When I was in, living in the Philippines, everyone spoke to me in Tagalog, so I noticed that my Filipino was much better when I was there. And as soon as I got to the States, I went back to my, you know, ah, so. Anyway, I hope you guys found that helpful. I will leave all of the books I talked about below, as well as the websites that I had mentioned. And um, yeah, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to like this video and also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, all that and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Yeah.